I like our boom clears. I like our cuts. I like our challenges. I like our aggression on defense. I like that's another boom clear. I think we're just losing the follow. Yeah, I just, I think we're losing our follow-ups on transition. That's the biggest thing that's bugging me. I, but I like our challenges, and I like our cuts. So I want to give you two options, Elite. We're just in between control and boom. We're just, like, in between the two. I like our cuts, our booms. I feel like for now, we just keep doing that. Like, keep the speed, keep the aggression. What I want to see is just... A little bit more boomier booms that they're getting to the goal line getting to the backboard your booms are kind of just like setting them up for possession and then we're not getting boost control and we're not getting demos the other way is like just try to control a little bit better on transition whether that's through midfield or sidewall i'm going to kind of detail out a workflow stuff that you can practice elite say it again keep the speed keep the aggression keep this up with boom and chase boom the ball up the field try to one touch like it's a boom boom if you want some sort of control i would consider like boom boom so like you're using the wall or you're using the ceiling to kind of extend that boom but i would keep booming and i would keep cutting and i would keep having this outpace mentality and this aggressive mentality because it looks good and then i would pair all of this with controlling their corners and demoing from behind we're missing that corner boost control and we're missing the demos from behind. And that would kind of complete the way we're playing. Other than that, you could start finding that open space for your sidewall transitions or one bounce air dribble transitions. But I would just optimize the booms and have this kind of uh, mentality where you're playing so fast that they can't keep up and then you play off their mistakes. Like, and this is what I mean. Some of these plays you're not getting punished, but like, this is what I mean about a boom and chase play. Like, this is a boom and chase play. It's not a boom, but we're losing these follow ups where, like, a better player, this opponent's going to take the ball from you. Okay. Like, we're missing that close follow up. I always call them like follow up 50s, hit the ball and then follow it up with a 50. We're missing that. And then you see how this opponent controls the corner boost. We're missing the, the corner boost control. And then we're missing. The demos from behind so our transitions end up just throwing the ball away whereas if you're able to keep these touches a little bit closer or set yourself up for a boom so that the players have to go to control it and then you could steal boost or demo while they go to control it or you get that follow-up touch um, we're just like somewhere in between and i'll show one more example for you so we're gonna boom right here and just with the speed of this boom and the height, it's going to set up for an easy rebound for the opponent and they get easy possession. And then on top of that, we don't get the corner. And this is what I mean about kind of completing this play style. Make sure you get those follow-ups, make sure you're getting corner boost and make sure you're in a position to demo from behind and chase this player.